10 spectacular artificial reefs throughout the ocean. Number 10, The Silent Evolution. Jason Taylor is the mastermind behind this stunning underwater creation. The piece was created in 2012 in the sparkling waters of Cancun. This piece of art is made up of 450 life-sized replicas of real people. Taylor used local fishermen and their families as models. Even though he only used about 90 real-life models, he was able to use duplicate molds over and over since they change so drastically once they are underwater. The casting process takes less than an hour, but for some, being forever immortalized is definitely worth the short wait. Taylor says that one fisherman loves the idea so much that he has had t-shirts printed with his sculpture's picture on it and spends his days giving tours of the spectacle to anyone interested. Jason makes sure to only use pH neutral cement for his underwater creations because it is important for the coral to have a sturdy, healthy material to attach and live on. He says that even though you can see the beautiful colors of the coral during the day, his favorite time to dive is at night when the colors of the silent evolution illuminate in ways that don't occur when the sun is out. Number 9. The General Hoyt S. Vandenberg the Gen Hoyt S. Vandenberg was a former missile tracking ship that was intentionally sunk on May 27, 2009. The final resting place for this giant vessel is in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary off the coast of Key West, Florida. Not even a year later, divers saw algae, corals, and sponges growing on the exterior of the ship. They also discovered over 113 different species of fish swimming around their new home. The 523-foot ship once tracked space launches off Cape Canaveral in Florida and at one time also monitored Soviet missile launches during the Cold War. Now it has a much more pleasant retirement, being a home for thousands of sea creatures. Number 8. Redbird Reef Marine life in the Redbird Reef has boomed in growth over 400 times the original population in the years following its creation. The Redbird Reef is a very successful man-made reef off the coast of Delaware. The massive collection expands across 1.4 square miles of the ocean floor. It is made up of 714 New York City subway cars, 86 retired military tanks, 8 barges and tugboats, and over 3,000 tons of ballasted truck tires. With all of that room, it's not hard to see why the fish come from all over just to check it out. Out. Number 7. Neptune Memorial Reef The Neptune Memorial Reef is located just under 4 miles off the coast of Key Biscayne, Florida. The official reef is entirely unique from every other artificial reef in the world. When you pass on from this world, instead of being buried in the ground for someone to dig up later, you can pay to have your remains forever placed inside one of the reef structures. The creators of this piece wanted to create a one-of-a-kind diving site as well as a spectacular memorial for the dead. They succeed in both, and you can see the fish swimming around this lion statue are happy to have a place called home. Number 6. The Koh Tao Reef Cubes The Koh Tao Reef Cubes were created and placed in the Gulf of Thailand in 2015. Each cube weighs over a ton. They were so heavy that they had to have flotation bags attached so that divers could maneuver them into place underwater. 2,000 of these concrete cubes were installed around the islands of Koh Tao and is the largest artificial reef in the Gulf of Thailand. The New Heaven Reef Conservation Program was the team behind this effort, and they were founded by the New Heaven Diving School, who teaches young divers the ins and outs of the turbulent waters. The entire sinking event took over 119 diver hours at the site, over 175 tanks of oxygen, 8 to 12 divers per day, and 8 days to fully complete. Number 5. The Christ of the Abyss There are a few of the Christ of the Abyss statues in the waters of our world, but this one is the original. The original was placed in the Mediterranean Sea near the spot where people believe Dario Gonzati, the first Italian to use scuba gear, died back in 1947. The statue depicts Jesus Christ offering his hands in peace. The statue, which was carved by Guido Galetti, was sunk on August 22, 1954, but due to excessive corrosion, it was removed in 2003 to be restored to its former glory. Not even a year later, on July 17, 2004, the statue was returned to its watery home. Number 4. The Ocean Atlas In 2014, Jason Taylor dropped this 60-ton statue into the waters of the Bahamas, piece by piece. The model he used was a small Bahamian girl named Camellia, and he designed the piece so that she is supporting the weight of the ocean on her shoulders like Atlas does with the weight of the world. Like all of his creations, Jason made this piece of art to last through lifetimes. He claims that the statue will never disintegrate, but rather 
Rather, as time passes, more and more calcium will build up around the outside. He is excited to eventually see the outcome of the pieces he has made and says this about it. I'm making these inert objects, but the environment is giving them their souls. We'll have to see just how awesome this sculpture becomes once the ocean gives it a soul. Number 3. The Governor's River Walk Reef Located off the coast of Palm Beach, Florida, the Governor's River Walk Reef is made up of four sunken ships, concrete corridors that connect one ship to the next, and an assortment of large limestone blocks. The project started when U.S. Customs gave the four ships to the Palm Beach County's Artificial Reef Program as part of the Operation River Walk. The program, which was conceived to eliminate drug smuggling up and down the Miami River, turned the four former drug vessels named the Sasha Bocanier, St. Jacques, Gilbert C., and Thozina into an artificial reef. The Sasha Bocanier even has a memorial statue at the northern tip that was placed there by the Delray Beach Police and firefighters to honor those lives lost due to drug smugglers. This spectacular site is now a perfect spot for recreational diving since there is a huge variety of tropical fish as well as turtles and different species of shark. Number 2. The USS Oriskany the sinking of this giant vessel had to be reviewed and overseen by the Environmental Protection Agency to ensure that all toxic substances on the ship were properly removed and cleaned out before the sinking took place. In 2006, the Essex-class retired aircraft carrier was sunk off the coast of Florida to create an artificial reef. Even though the aircraft carrier had battle stars for services in both the Korean and Vietnam Wars, its destiny was to become the largest man-made reef in the whole world. Usually, after you sink a vessel intended to become a reef, it takes time for the life around the structure to grow accustomed to it and decide to move in. With the case of the USS Oriskany, the move-ins began occurring right after it was sunk. Local diver Brian Clark recounts his first dive to the colossal ship just a few days after it sunk. According to Clark, a crab hatch must have happened right before or after the ship was sunk because the wreck was covered by thousands and thousands of tiny baby crabs, which, of course, attracted even more fish and wildlife, all of which decided to stay. Number 1. The Sunken Volkswagen this spectacular piece was imagined and created by a man named Jason Dekaitis Taylor in an effort to save the lobster population in Cancun, Mexico. Taylor had been snorkeling around the bottom of one of his famous sculptures in Cancun when he was delighted to see a gathering of 100 or so lobsters. He went back a week later to be shocked after finding that every single lobster had disappeared. He soon discovered that the reason for the lobster's disappearance was due to the local fishermen going out at night and capturing them to eat and sell. In an effort to change the rapid population decrease, Jason Taylor set to work creating his hollow replica of a Volkswagen car. Even though it is hollow, the creation weighed 9 tons and proved the difficult feat to move it to its final resting place under the water. Even the best intentions and the best laid plans can go awry, and for the first two years after its placement, Jason was beginning to feel as though he had failed. It took over two years for lobsters to decide that they trusted the VW enough to claim it as their own and move inside. Thankfully, the last time Jason went to check up on his masterpiece, there were over 80 of the clawed creatures inside, living peacefully away from the snatching hands of the local fishermen. Well, that's another one of our videos, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this every single week. Catch you next time. Bye! Better.